going on, guys? I actually just did this. I, my windows are all open. First of all, everyone like makes a big old deal about like this being a smoke-free building and all that bullshit, but I swear to God, I just saw like four or five people on their balconies sparking fatties. I was like, of course everyone smokes. Why the fuck would... You're not going to spend like $2,500 a month in rent and not smoke. Just like, it's stupid. I don't know anyone who would do that. Like, one or two of them had vapes, but they were smoking. That's the point I'm making. Anyways, um, but I just smoked a doobie, but I was just going to roll another one and then film, but just get it out of the way now. Uh, I, like, I'm, I don't know what to say. Like, I woke up at like 7 or 8 in the morning. No, more like 7 in the morning, because I don't want to get into it. It's the same thing over and over again. My phone's over there. I'm not getting it. Look. I just don't care anymore. I, I do not care anymore. This has just been a reminder why I do things my way. Look, I do things my way and I get my feet pumice stoned and my back rubbed on command. Okay? Or uh, on request. Okay, to be polite. I try to do it someone else's way, and I get involved in all this bullshit that I don't want to deal with. And something tells me she thinks it's cute, and there's more bullshit involved. And I don't want to get involved in it. It's just not my problem. She's got so many problems. It's, I don't understand why she has a need to make them mine. She does not. She does not need to make these my problems. They're her problems. Okay? Okay. And then I tell her, 2023 video chat or go away. And then she just deleted that one account. But she... <sighs> She's been spamming my Tinder all day. Okay, so she just got rid of that one too. No, no, I got rid of that one. Damn it, I didn't take a picture of it. I should have taken a picture of it. Whatever, I don't want to play this game. It's so stupid. She's just like spamming. She made me... Uh, the other day, I just got fed up. Because one of the, the things she's spamming my... Uh, She deleted the ones that were, like, I was basically trolling her, because she was, like, made a bunch of accounts that were, like, Asian girl in town, looking for short-term fun, open to long-term, and all that stupid bullshit, and then she, like, made me, like, download a Snapchat, and I was, like, why do you want me to download a Snapchat? You're not gonna snap on it. You're gonna make another burner account and all this stupid bullshit. 
and then you're going to post things about your hormones, and then that's for some fucking reason, that stupid fucking friend of hers, and that stupid magazine, it's her diary, is posting two minutes ago, two minutes ago, now they're posting, like, things about, like, Twilight and love stories and stupid bullshit. I don't understand them that this is their response. <sighs> TLDR. July. Okay, I finally get back on my feet from working and I'm working two jobs because I have had to deal with basically being, uh, uh, what's it called, uh, discriminated against for not taking the vaccine, and everyone, including, dude, dude, before my dad had a stroke, I was supposed to, like, go visit, like, family members in, like, Florida, which is, like, one of the, like, most free states or whatever, if not the most free state, and they're so, like, brainwashed by, like, MSNBC, they're like, you can't come unless you have a vaccine and all that bullshit, I don't want to get into it. And I don't even particularly care because that's a whole other thing I don't want to get into right now. Uh, they are incredibly, like, Tiffany thinks she can be emotionally traumatizing. I swear to God, this, that they, everything is controlling and money and shit like that. I think, I'm pretty sure that I've been taken out of the will like four or five times. It's like, you keep saying that. I don't particularly, like, half the reason why I got like a bajillion dollars in the first place it's because I don't really like to rely on anyone for anything. Because this stupid bitch made me, like, go ask people for help. Stupid fucking bitch. And, like, no one helped me. I told her. Like, no one's going to. She's like, I don't believe you. I think you just don't want to. No, I'll do it. Fine, look, I'll ask them for help. And they're like, I got speeches and lectures and all that bullshit. And then, like... And then, like, when all this shit, like, when she finally started to admit that, like, well, basically when her money got taken also, she was like, oh, I see now why you had a, 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 a cabinet full of silver. Yeah, now you see why? Okay. So, I'm just going to get a cactar tattoo every time. You know how, like, in football, when you get, like, a tackle, or, like, I sacked Norv Turner's son, I uh, got a safety. I remember all that bullshit back in the day when high school football. Norv Turner used to be the coach for the, for the Redskins. Uh, it was not a big deal. Um, every time you would get, like, a tackle or some shit like that, you would put like a sticker on your helmet, you know, like a skull and crossbones or some shit like that. Tiffany will look, I'm not even. You don't understand. It's like. I don't know how to explain it. It's just like I have to plan my life based around Tiffany's attitude while simultaneously trying to clean up her mistakes if I want to do anything. I just don't know. And I don't really have a choice in the matter. This is like some Stockholm... This is literally Stockholm Syndrome shit. This is like... Uh, and the thing is, like, I honestly... I feel obligated to, because if I don't, this bitch is a train wreck. Like, seriously. 
she was inadvertently funding a criminal organization and there's enough evidence to prove that she is a victim that like the feds and the crypto hunters and all that shit I hired, they have sympathy for her. They're like, damn, we can only recover about 200,000 of the money that you've lost because it's been happening for so long. We don't know how much money you've lost. She doesn't know how much money she's lost. And, and I'm not mad about me losing. The, I'm, I'm, I'm upset. And I'm glad that I'm getting it back minus 15% and all that bullshit. And thank you very much, you guys. You guys are the best in the world. I'll give you guys the best review ever and all that bullshit. I kind of, I don't want to say I planned it this way, but I basically knew she, she it's not that she was going to do something. It's that she trusts so many stupid people like that fucking Magnetic Moon Tour that fucking, she literally, oh, I don't want to get into it. And now, like, dude, I looked at my phone records because, like, for a split second, I almost was like, this is going to sound so stupid. This is, like, really, this is, like, I hate to say it, but, like, I kind of feel sorry for Medley Mac because, like, she has, like, the bad kind of stalker. It's just funny because it's, like, if a girl has a stalker, that's bad, but if a girl is a stalker, it's cute. I don't know how to describe it. And... For some reason, I'm going over the phone records, and like when I started getting the phone calls of someone calling it that I thought was Roaming Chen, and all, I seriously did because her fucking creepy brother followed me to the gym in Arizona and stared at me while I was like doing boxing drills, and then that stupid crazy whore came to Charlottesville and started. I told that bitch to go to the UVA hospital because her dad had some crazy shit with cancer, and I was trying to be like bury the hatchet and keep it professional and that stupid whore walked around town asking for my sister like that that's on camera that's why i was like this bitch needs to go the fuck away okay like i was seriously was just trying to be cool i don't i mean like seriously like oh shit you're having like something life-threatening okay and she was like let me go stalk his family stupid crazy whore anyways um no, but, but, so I'm going over my phone records of seeing when all these, like, calls started, and it's, like, exactly when she went on tour. I went to Night for, or Super Sponsored, or whatever the fuck it's called, Night for Freedom, in New York City, and, like, a week or two later, she starts doing Lexus modeling articles. I probably did run into her at Night for Freedom, and don't even remember, I got shit-faced drunk, and I was trying to avoid Cassandra Fairbanks, because... Again, would have sex with Cassandra, did not want to marry Cassandra. I swear to God. Like, I don't know why she went from, like, getting her ass grabbed to, like, wanting to get married. That is so stupid. <sighs> Anyways. But, like, okay, so that's kind of cute, though. So, like, basically, she ran into me at some fucking fancy event. I was in a suit, and she, like, imprinted on me. And started calling my phone and shit. That's kind of cute, I guess. Until you got my niece involved in this fucking bullshit. Which, until she gets her money returned to her. And now it seems like there's going to be a more than likely probability of it going back to her in one lump sum. I'm just going to take my paychecks and fix my own shit and try to get back on my feet. And work two jobs and all that bullshit. I'm at, I'm at, like, contracting shit and 1099 shit and all that, until I get back on my feet. And so all this just settles down. Uh, it's like, I, I want to do that because it relieves tension, but then people are going to bitch about shit and they're going to flag the videos and all that bullshit. It's just not worth it. And then Tiffany's going to be like, you've been drinking. And I haven't been drinking, you stupid wino. Okay. She is such a train wreck. Like, she is such a train wreck. And the funny thing is, like, if I didn't really like her, I wouldn't be doing any of this bullshit, and she needs constant reassurance. 
It's so annoying. And she doesn't want me to make an AI bot to do it. She can somehow fucking tell. <sighs> She's like the princess in the pea. It's so fucking stupid. This is like that my sister used to watch this fucking uh, movie back in the day. With Mandy Moore, it was like a walk in the park or some bullshit like that. This is like a walk in the park, but it never ends. It's like they just keep on walking and walking and walking and walking, and it just never ends. It just never gets to the part. I don't. They had a fight of some kind, or he got kicked out of school. I don't remember. I didn't. I didn't finish watching it. It was. I went to go play video games. Walk in the Park, Korean edition. That's what it is. Okay, so. Look, if you don't want to say anything, that's probably the best thing because I'm busy getting my niece's money back to her. After that, you're probably still going to be annoying me and doing some stupid bullshit. So just let me know when you're ready to be an adult, okay? I've said it time and again, if I wanted to go out and get, I wouldn't be using, I, I, at this point in time, I only have Tinder to get proof that she is still stalking me. Because if it does come to find out that she had anything to do with this shit, her ass is going to be in prison. It just comes to find out that two or three verified legal sources are telling me she is actually also a victim and is in way over her head, which I could have told her back in motherfucking July. August, September, whatever, I've been telling you how stupid your friends are for God knows how long. And, apparently, when she was in D.C. for Magnetic Moon in 2019, which was exactly when I got fired for not wanting to... Dude, Booz Allen was such a cult. I'm telling you, I remember. Booz Allen. I remember. That fucking blonde bitch. I, so I like blonde bitches. What the fuck you want me to do, right? I'm a fucking newsflash. A lot of people do, right? It's called the 80s. Hello, right? Anyways. So, um, um, I was talking to that blonde bitch, and I asked her out, and she was like, uh, no, I'm a little offended, actually, and blah, 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 and I only date Spanish guys. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. My mom is from Peru. And instantly, she was like... My ex wife from, was from Peru. We can go out if you want. And I was like, you just told me no. What the fuck changed? Like, you hated my guts. And now you, you can't wait to S on my D. Like, what the fuck changed in those two seconds? Like, now it's culturally acceptable for you to be a whore? This is so stupid. These people, those people were so fucking retarded. But anyway, so I was dealing with that. And she was spam phoning my call, uh, spam calling my phone. Because I didn't want to go. I didn't know that Tiffany Young was a solo act. I did not know. I thought she was in Korea singing and dancing and Jean and all that bullshit. I, she could have just said hello. So I don't know what to say. I don't even... This was, I was going to do a video about something else, I think. I think I was going to do a video about, like, cactar tattoos... And shit like that, but I just started bitching about Tiffany again. I just I don't know what to say at this point. She just uh, she's on a she's on her own fucking fantasy land. Okay, have you guys ever read Anne McCaffrey? Have you guys ever read Anne McCaffrey, The Words of Pern? She's like that. She's just on her own fucking planet. She just is doing whatever the fuck she wants to, and whenever she decides to, she'll just pull me in on some bullshit. And it's never gonna be what she says. There's always some addendum to it I didn't see because she got in some shit over her head. She's just like Fujiko. This is like fucking. I swear to God, this is like an anime. This is like Lupin the Third, and she's Fujiko. This. this, this, this I don't want to do the. I don't want to do the video because I, I'm just like complaining right now, and I have to post something, or people are going to ask why I didn't do a video. I just I don't know what to tell you. She woke me up and asked. Look, like, I was up. I was trying to. It's like I swear to God, she has some like internal alarm that is like he's enjoying himself, right? I was playing Skyblazer, okay, and I passed out. 
because the video clip has a first I don't want to configure I don't give a shit at two hours of times off I think I even set it up that way that way I don't spend all day playing video games so the thing timed off and I fell asleep and then I woke up to finish playing Sky Blazer and she had made so many burner tinder accounts and they were like demanding to know what I was doing and like why don't you just talk to me on all of the fucking the end oh I just wanted to play video games. I just wanted to play video games. Like, why can't you just let me play video games? Like, I... T How much do you want to bet that Tiffany had her own suspicions that it was a fake crypto exchange and she brought me into this bullshit because she knew I could take care of it. And now she probably has some shit. Because she probably knows exactly how much money she lost. And now she's trying to get it all back. It's not a competition. Get in your fucking... Get in your... This isn't a competition. You pulled me into some bullshit. Now she's turning it into a competition. She's like, oh, I can do it too. <sighs> just, 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 just hurry up. I'm going to play video games. Just hurry the fuck up, okay? Like, I'm... Look, if I wanted to go and have short-term fun... I wouldn't be on Tinder and all that bullshit, okay? Before I knew, knew Tinder had Tiffany stalking me, Tinder was what you call a Hail Mary. You might find someone. It might work out, right? All that bullshit, okay? But what you do when you have the amount of money that I have, and I'm not, try, I'm not trying to brag, I'm not trying to be an asshole, I'm not trying to be some poor loser, I'm telling you the merits of being a successful adult, Okay, that's just what it is. Okay, leather seats in my car with heat warmers and all that shit. When you pick up a bitch in fucking 20 degree weather, and the first thing you do is let her sit in your heated leather seats, she's gonna want to suck your dick. That's just what it is. Okay, I didn't make the rules, that's just how it is. Okay, anyways, so one of the merits of being a successful adult, okay is that you have a hundred thousand dollars that you can just oh shit I'll get it back later okay so anyways so if I wanted to go out and have short term fun with my money I wouldn't be on tinder okay I wouldn't try to pick up Sally the the the, the fucking fishy finger whatever the fuck alright I, I would go to a strip club I would go to Atlantic City I would go to whatever the fuck it is legal to say hey you are the hottest Korean bitch or half Korean or big titty from West Virginia, whatever the fuck, I don't give a fuck. You are the hottest one I can find in the room. Here's some money. Legally, let's have some adult fun. Okay? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You see, I'm done with having fun now. I paid you all this money so you can stay here. I'm going to go about my business. No, you don't need to know my no, no, you don't need to know my real name. You don't need to know anything about me. That's why I paid you the money. I'm glad you had some fun. I'm glad you think I'm interesting. I'm going to go over here now. You stay here. The next time I want to do those things to you, I'm going to come do them to you and give you money so you continue to stay here and I can go about my business. Okay? That's how adults have fun in the real world. Okay? I hate to break it to you. So I'm going to go play F-Zero or some bullshit like that because this bitch has got my niece involved in an international criminal syndicate and I am getting her money back. And after that, maybe we'll talk some more. I don't fucking know right now, okay? I'm a little bit busy with the bullshit you put on my plate. Thank you very much. And all... I, I don't... I don't... I can't... You got my niece involved in some criminal shit. That's what I'm pissed about, okay? Get over yourself. All right? Thank you very much.